Hey, Tara here. It's really great to be here with you. If you're joining me for the first time, I just want to say welcome. If you have continued to watch these videos and been a faithful viewer, I just want to say thank you so much and happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Um, and yes, it's my birthday today and I'm really excited. I wanted to do a uh, short little live. I don't have a ton of time, but as a mom of three, as you can imagine, it gets really crazy sometimes between my eight and my three, my one year old, and we have had a full day, but I was thinking about you and, um, you know, having my birthday, I was trying to wrap my mind around something that I could bring to you that deals with birthdays. And then the idea just clicked with me just like that. So I just wanted to join with you really quick and um, a really awesome key strategy, this is just a short tip, if you are in a business, um, you can offer services, but primarily if you have a business that has a product, okay, um, a really great way to gain customers and to, because see, when you want to attract customers and you want to attract referrals, you need something tangible. And the reason why you need something tangible is that it takes the average person at least six to seven times before they really respond. So you need to have something that you can keep putting in front of them that gives you a reason to reconnect and follow back up with them. And so a really great tip and strategy to being able to do that is um, designing a little um, gift bag, okay? And you can go on to Amazon, um, purchase like those real cute little small bags like you would for like weddings, let's say. And uh, you don't even have to do that. You can go to like Michael's, your local craft store, and just pick up some real cute little bags, okay, that have like drawstrings. You know what I'm talking about, right? Or you can get fancy and creative and tie a ribbon, however you want to do it. You know, if you've got art skills, you can um, create a little thank you label. And uh, it doesn't take that much. People really like uh, thoughtful gifts, okay? And so all you need to really do is just take... Um, a little uh, card, a little business card that you have, stick it in there and put a few different samples in there, okay? And um, you can go to local businesses with them, you can connect with local businesses and you can say, hey, um, I have something that may potentially benefit you. Here's a little bit of information on it. I was wondering if I can meet up with you and, um, you know, whatever, hand out some of my samples, set up a little table, uh, and it could be mutually beneficial because it attracts people into your gym or to your business and at the same time, or whatever it is, you know, hair salon, you know, whatever. And it's gonna draw people in because it's gonna be profitable for them, but it's also potentially profitable for you because they get a hold of your business card and they have your, you know, your email, your contact information, your phone number, whatever that looks like, okay? So that's one way of doing it. You can present your samples to local businesses or entities, companies, whatever ministries, whatever that looks like for you, whatever direction you're going. But the other thing that you can do is when it's somebody's birthday, let's say, okay, you can have some samples already made up, ready to go, so that all you have to do is drop them off in the mailbox or the postal service, okay? You can buy your own envelopes or you can go to the postal service and do it. They'll do it for a small fee. And what you do is you just message somebody and you let them know. You just say, hey, Tiffany, nice to see you. Um, you can just say to them, you just say, hey, happy birthday. I've been thinking about you. I would love to send you a sample of XYZ, whatever your product or service is. I would love to send a sample to you just to say and let you know that I'm thinking about you on your special day. Would it be okay? Would you like for me to go ahead and mail a sample to you? I would love for you to test this out. I really believe it's going to benefit you in X, Y, Z ways. Okay, tailor it around to them. Don't just give some cookie cutter generic example, okay? You know, you really wanna make sure that you make it thoughtful, that you were thinking about them. So before you reach out to them, you know, think about your connection with them in the past. What is your relationship like? Do you need to do a little bit more relational building? Because sometimes some people are like, hey, just, you know, you want a sample? Here, come to my page and like it. Well, nobody really likes that, okay? 
You know, they want to know that they have engagement and they have a relationship and a connection with you, right? And so the best way to do that is to get your um, product or service out there because, see, once you send that sample, if they say yes, if you tailor it around them enough, they will say yes because it's like, who doesn't want free stuff on their birthday? Me. I'll, I'll, I'll take free stuff for my birthday, you know? And you could, all you have to do is just take, you know, send that sample out, take it to the post office, send it out, or you know, if you wanna send it out from your doorstep and you have it arranged to do that. And then once they get it, you know, um, make sure you connect with them because the fortune is in the follow-up. So you always wanna stay in front of them, okay? Because sometimes people forget, you know, soccer practice happened, extra hours at work happened, you know, the house is a mess, you gotta clean it up. Like all these things happen, life just kinda happens, you know, sometimes. And so you wanna get back in front of them once you've mailed that sample out and say, hey, did you have a good birthday? How was your birthday? You know, what did you guys do? And um, oh, by the way, did you get a chance to get, try out that, test out that sample that I sent you? You know, how did you like that sample? You know, if they say yes, you know, I, I love it. You can build a conversation off of that. If they say, you know, um, no, I haven't had a chance you know, girl, you need to really try that sample out for me. Um, you, I know you're going to love it, you know, and just build it up, you know, build your product up a little bit and um, build it up, remind them of their need or their why, okay, make it connected to the relationship, okay, and then just have them test it out and just say, hey, I'm going to follow up with you in a day or two just to see how you like it, okay? And make sure you connect with them. Set a time and then just connect with them. Keep connecting with them. You know, it takes six to seven exposures on average before somebody's going to say yes. So they're going to say, you know what? I feel like such a douche. I didn't try that sample yet. And I really know that I need to get to it. And you'll never believe what happened. I just feel so bad. Can I go ahead and test out that sample for you? You know? And then once you do, you just, you know, talk with them and... You know, um, if they really like it and they really like your product, you know, that's when you can say, hey, let's go ahead and get an order placed for you. You know, I'm ready whenever you are and get their information and close it out. You know, um, if they're not quite ready yet or, you know, they're like that, you know, I liked it, but it really wasn't for me. Okay, well, who do you know that could benefit from all of these changes that XYZ products have? You know, do you know of somebody that I can assist or I can help? And all of that comes from a birthday sample. <laughs> so make sure if you have a product or a service, look and see when people's birthdays are and pray about it, you know, and then reach out to them, okay? And build a connection with them, establish a relationship and get that sample out. Because as soon as you get that sample out, that gives you every reason to follow up. But you keep the relationship first. It's not something that's high pressure. It's very comfortable, kind of more nonchalant, but in a way that is still not only ethical, but it's effective, okay? And it's a great way to expand your business because if you get that product in front of them, then it gives you a reason to not only talk with them and close them on that, but it also gives them an opportunity, okay, to give you referrals if you ask for them. Do not forget to ask for the referral. That's really super duper important because just because it may not benefit them doesn't mean they don't know about 50 people that can't benefit from your product. You know, I'm in the health industry. Everybody can benefit from better health, right? So make sure that you're connecting and that you have reasons for a follow-up, that you're staying involved in the relationship, that you're staying engaged because people want to know that you're consistent and they want to know that they can count upon you as their trusted resource in person. You want to make sure that you validate their concerns, their needs, their wants, their desires, and that you can deliver that and fulfill that because that will also, next time somebody, you know, is talking to their friend, they can say, hey, I've got a friend. And I believe she has something that's perfect for you. Would you like for me to connect her with you? Look, you become the number one referral source. All because of a birthday sample. Anyway, I hope these are some really good ideas and tips and strategies. And if you're just jumping on, I really want you to go back and watch the replay because there was some really good information and nuggets in there. And I wanna make sure that you have that in hand, that you're receiving all of the information. And if I can partner with you, help assist you in some way, answer any questions, pray with you, or be there for you in some way, 
I'm going to leave my contact information in the comments below the video, so feel free to click on that, put your name and your email address, and fill out application. I know it seems like it's an application, but it's not. Just click on it, and then that way I'll get a notification and know that I need to reach out to you, that we need to decide a time to connect, so that that way we can honor one another's time, and I can help assist you in the best way possible with whatever that need is. Um, and if you would like prayer over your business, or there's something that I can help you with in that way, I'm happy to do that. Um, if we're friends on Facebook, you can also Facebook me. And uh, if we're not friends, you can still Facebook me because I check my other's folder and I'll also leave my email address so you can reach out to me by means of email as well. Anyway, it's been a real pleasure connecting with you. Listen, I've got to scoot and get out the door to get my eight-year-old from school. Um, but again, go back and watch the replay if this brought some sort of value. Hey, do me a favor and why don't you go ahead and share it? So uh, let's get the word out. You know, this is a great idea. And I, I don't know that, um, I don't know who all and who doesn't. I want to assume anything, but I don't know who keeps lists of their contacts and who doesn't. But it's a really great way to do exposure because maybe they said no to your product or to your company before, but they're wanting to say yes, you know, now to your birthday sample. Go back to your people. In fact, go back to your people who said no. Go back to your people who said no. Uh, that's going to be my challenge to you. I'm serious. I'm going to do it too. Let's hold each other accountable. I'm going to go back to my people that said no, and I'm going to start offering them birthday samples. It's a really great strategy. Anyway, just because somebody says no, don't get hung up on it. No doesn't mean no forever. No just means that there may be some unanswered concerns or questions that need validated. And by giving them a birthday sample, you have an opportunity to get back in front of them. Anyway, it's been a real pleasure connecting with you. Again, if you want to contact me, I'll leave my information in the comment section to this video. That way you can reach out to me. It's been awesome connecting with you. Enjoy your Valentine's Day weekend and do something fun. And uh, I'm excited to hear about what you guys all did. I try to keep up with the feeds a little bit, but sometimes it gets a little crazy. But um, it's a real pleasure an honor. I just really appreciate spending my birthday, my Valentine's Day here with you today, and it just makes it extra super special. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today, and um, I look forward to connecting with you on Monday, so stay tuned. Time to be announced. Bye for now.